Having already won three champion hurdles between his careers as a trainer and jockey, Desi Hughes knows all about what is required to succeed in Cheltenham's opening day showpiece. And when Eric Connor pulverised his rivals in last year's triumph, thoughts immediately turned to whether he could emulate Monksfield and Hardy Eustace by capturing the blue ribbon. Jeremy Gelding has found reigning champ Hurricane Fly too strong in both outings this term, but Hughes is optimistic of better next month as he leads a select team from Osborne Lodge into battle. It, it looks as if Hurricane Fly is, is at his best around Leperstown. Um, our fellow was at his best in Cheltenham. So if he, if he, he made improvement from Christmas till, till the last day and uh, I'm sure he should make another bit of improvement for Cheltenham and Cheltenham will help him anyway and a bit of good ground will happen. He's definitely stronger. He's a five-year-old now, he'd be entitled to be a bit stronger. And there is an improvement in him physically. Guitar Pete seeks to follow in our Connor's hoop prints by making it back-to-back -back triumph hurdles for the yard. And while he may not possess quite the explosive turn of foot of his year-older stablemate, this consistent type seems sure to give another good account. He started off uh, racing fifth, uh, 59 the flat and I thought he was the biggest certainty of all time one day in Sligo in a mile and a half and he just didn't, didn't race at all. And, but he always jumped well and we schooled him when he was a two-year-old we had him schooled. He was always a very good jumper so I thought there'd be improvement in him when he go jumping and from the first day he ran over hurdles. He looked as if he was a far better horse and he's, he's, he's been very consistent ever since. He ran around Cheltenham in November. He was second to Nicky Henderson's horse. So he did, he did uh, handle the track well, so we're looking forward to it. Owners Pat and Joe Sloan will also have high hopes for Apache Jack, who will attempt to emulate full brother Black Jack Ketchum by landing the Albert Bartlett. More of a slow burner than his illustrious older sibling, the son of Oscar looks sure to relish the step up to three miles. I think he needs three miles. He made the running in Ace the last day. Briar Hill beat him, but Briar Hill is, is a fair type of horse. We gave him a very good race with it right up to the last hurdle. That was, two, that was two mile and four, so going three mile would be better. And he's in good form since that. Defeat in Sunday's Hennessy at Leopardstown may have put paid to a Gold Cup bid for Larine Legend, with Hughes now leaning towards Thursday's Ryanair for last year's RSA chase runner-up. The ground in, in Leopardstown on Sunday was very heavy, according to the jockeys, and Barry came in, he said he's just he's a bit immature for that real heavy ground, he struggled in it. But he still ran a good race, and I expect him to run better when the ground gets better. Well, he's in the Gold Cup and he's in the Ryanair, but uh, after last Sunday, I'd say now we make more sense now for the run the Ryanair. Happily recovered from last year's health scare, Hughes is also sure to be well represented in the handicaps as he returns to his favorite stomping ground. <laughs>